ABC 31 News Tonight, I'm Scott Beadle. The Louisiana Public Service Commission voted today to move forward with the energy efficiency program for the state. District 3 Commissioner Lambert Boissier spoke about how this program will allow the commission to be more involved with consumers, ratepayers, and the people of Louisiana as a whole. Because of the plans we put forward today, and we've been working on for the last few years, uh, we can now go back and weatherize and winterize and do other things to make our buildings more efficient, our homes more efficient, and that benefits not only the customer, but the entire company. If we don't have to use all that extra electricity, then we don't have to buy it on the open market. We all benefit from energy efficiency. Louisiana currently has the lowest electricity rate in the nation, but many homeowners and businesses don't see the savings on their bills due to inefficient buildings and homes. As the energy efficiency program moves forward, the commission plans to work toward making structures more efficient to save energy. A former inmate is back behind bars. Rapids deputies say right after 31-year-old Anthony Farrell's release from jail early last month, he began harassing a former contract employee of the detention center and her family through social media. The victim says she refused to answer Farrell's messages, which became increasingly threatening over time. Warrants were issued for Farrell's arrest, and deputies nabbed him on September 7th. He's now charged with cyber-stalking and is back in jail on a $150,000 bond. A Cheneyville man is charged with criminal sexual conduct. Police arrested 62-year-old Joseph Fisher after deputies were called to the hospital last Saturday to speak to a victim. They arrested Fisher later that day. He is charged with rape, kidnapping, and battery and remains jailed on a $150,000 bond. An appeals court has ruled in favor of two complainants in local cases. In one, the appeals court says the Alexandria Fire Department must rehire Kendall Dixon, who was fired three years ago for allegedly being drunk. The judges agreed the measuring device used to determine intoxication was not proper. And in the other case, a family involved in a land dispute has won its case against a local lawyer. The judges ruled for Robert Washington Sr. against Wilbert Soche Jr. in the case which involved the Washington family's access to their property. The court ruled against Soche's request for damages. National retail giant Walmart plans to employ more than 1,250 1, hourly associates in its Louisiana stores for the holiday season. Full and part-time cashiers, card attendants, stockers, and service area employees are all needed. The jobs pay about $9 to $10 an hour. Those 18 to 24 can attend a special job fair tomorrow at the Louisiana Workforce Development Central Office. It's at 5610 Coliseum Boulevard in Alexandria. That runs from 3 to 6. We're seeing some unsettled weather across the region. Let's get the latest from meteorologist Ross Whitley. Yeah, showers and storms out and around the area, mainly to our area and points south and east. And that will continue as we go through the rest of the overnight hours into the early morning hours. We should start to see that activity wind on down. We did get up to 92 degrees today and 73 last night. The overnight lows really not that far off from where we should be. We still have that same amount of moisture in the air, but our highs much warmer and that's going to continue to be the case unfortunately for the next seven days or so. So if you like summer, you're going to like the forecast ahead. If you're hoping for fall, well, you might have to wait another 10 to 15 days before we can get some cooler air in here. Of course, I have all the details on that coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Ross. The Queen of Creole Cuisine came to Natchitoches yesterday to share her experience with NSU culinary arts and hospitality students. ABC 31's Char Thomas has the story. Legendary chef Leah Chase graced the campus of NSU with her smoky attitude and shared some wisdom with the culinary arts students. But you know one thing, every time I receive an award, I'm grateful for it. I'm really grateful for it. But why should one person receive all the awards? Because somebody else did not get involved. Everybody can receive an award. Get up, get involved in things. As the business management and culinary faculty presented her with an award, Mrs. Chase encouraged the future chefs to do more in their communities to reap the benefits of being rewarded in the culinary and hospitality industry. The chef wasn't the only one recognized today for her works. 
culinary arts student Jeremy Aaron was surprised to hear his name being called to receive a full ride scholarship for his last semester of college. Aaron left today feeling inspired and after receiving such a great scholarship in the presence of his role model. In the award mean that I gotta keep working hard like I've been working hard so I can get more stuff like this. And meeting her, it was like it was like something I really looking forward to because like I like cooking and she like a role model to me. Out of many students, Jeremy was chosen for maintaining a 3.1 grade point average and has excelled in culinary arts. In Natchitoches, Char Thomas, ABC 31 News. This morning, Go HR Consulting had a, held a workshop at the Chamber of Commerce to educate Sentinel professionals on some office procedures. Um, the, the biggest thing with um, you know staying compliant, uh, and not only like I said with your uh, your employee handbooks and your job descriptions, but most of all, it's communication with your employees. Let them know what's expected of them. You know, sit down and have that one-on-one -on -one communication with them. You know, I'm hiring you, but what what do I expect of you? If you are interested in getting a second opinion about hiring candidates, contact Lydia Lambert at three one eight. 481-7225. The annual Louisiana State Homelessness Conference began this afternoon at the Holiday Inn in downtown Alexandria. It's hosted this year by the Central Louisiana Homeless Coalition and will continue through Friday. The event includes more than 150 direct service case managers and social workers from all across the state and over 30 professional presenters all looking to help people who are homeless and who suffer with mental illness and addiction. The 8th Annual Perfect Fit Fundraiser is tomorrow morning from 6 to 11 a.m. at St. James Episcopal Church Parish Hall. For $7, you can buy pancakes to eat in or carry out, and the proceeds will be used for shoes for needy kids. Tickets are available at the door or at Senla Focus. Les Fest is back again in central Louisiana with special musical guests and much more. Well, we have quite the treat this year. Tad Benoit is coming back again. We know he's a big conservationist in his own right, so he's coming out to support the zoo. And headlining for him this year is going to be Eric Johansson, a very good local uh, musician as well. We've got a ton of great uh, sponsors in the food department coming in. We've got Atwoods and Backwoods, Tunks and Julia's, tons of great local good foods coming out. Buy those tickets at the door and you can fill up in, on, on food and drink for sure. That event is September 28th at 6.30 p.m. For more information, visit thealexandriazoo.com. To you, it's just an old coat, but to an underprivileged child, it's a warmer winter. Please help us collect coats for kids before the cold months get here. You can drop off new or gently used coats at a location near you. All coats are cleaned and distributed right here in our community. The KLAX Coats for Kids Drive is sponsored by First Federal Bank, Southern Heritage Bank, Bank of Montgomery, Kramer Funeral Home, Take 5 Oil Change, South Park Cleaners, and LaSalle Printing and Office Supply. Hi, right, meteorologist Ross Whitley. Our radar and satellite pretty active around the area. A lot of lightning going on with these storms. Nothing has been severe, but those storms that have moved through and they're pretty isolated as far as how they're scattered about. We had a dry line move into the area, really not bringing any drier air, but did create just enough lift to get these thunderstorms going. And you can see even in Mississippi dealing with showers and thunderstorms actually moving in the opposite direction on an outflow boundary there. But as we zoom in a little bit closer, you can see Quite a bit of lightning with these storms counts up over 900 lightning strikes in just this radar frame. So producing a lot of lightning, probably hearing thunder out there if you're around one of these storms as well. But you can see not very expansive as far as the area of storms. And of course, here in Alexandria officially haven't picked up any rain, but that storm just off to our east still producing some rain out there, so you might pick up some rain overnight tonight. 92 officially today, 90 in Natchitoches, 92 in Shreveport as well as right along the Gulf Coast. We're seeing temperatures right near 90 degrees, and that's not going anywhere. The heat and the humidity sticking with us over the next seven days or so. And a couple of thunderstorms around out there tonight, but as we lose the heating of the day and we start to see the sunshine go down, we'll start to see most of this activity waning out as well and then another round of it for the day tomorrow as we're not changing this air mass at all. Now what to expect? Well, 
hot and humid tomorrow. Clouds and sunshine to start off the day and then an isolated shower or storm out there and more of the same as we work into Friday as well. And then over the weekend, well, more of the same, partly sunny and very, very warm. We could even actually see temperatures warming up just a touch as we go into Friday and Saturday. We could be back up into the mid 90s. Our surface map, very summer like indeed all across the Gulf Coast states dealing with isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon tomorrow. And of course, we got high pressure system hanging out in the Gulf of Mexico. And what that does is that allows for that temperatures really or the moisture off of the Gulf of Mexico to push into the southeast and with a big high pressure system over the southeast. Well, not kicking this moisture out of here or really this pattern. So we're kind of stuck here for several more days to come. Now we're just talking about Maria category two right now. Well, could re-strengthen to a category four by the time we head into Friday early morning. But as it moves northward, well, more shear is going to kind of rip this thing apart and it's going to be moving into some much cooler waters. But we will have to continue to watch this. Some models indicate that it might actually drift towards the east coast before taking a right hand turn into the Atlantic. So this is something that needs to be watched very, very closely over the next couple of days. Tomorrow around a 30 to 40% chance of showers and storms highs right around where we were today near 91 to 92 degrees and our seven day forecast summer is just a rolling on all the way up to 92 by Friday and we stay all the way through that as we move into next week. There is some relief in sight, but you might just have to wait 10 or 11 days from now. That's a look at your seven day and your weather forecast. Scott. All right, thanks, Ross. Mayor Jamone wireless carriers could be in the works and what Apple's new updates will do for your devices. Jane King is at the NASDAQ market site with those stories and more in today's tech report. Sprint and T-Mobile may be looking at a merger again. CNBC reports they're in active talks. The deal would combine the nation's third and fourth biggest wireless carriers and may face regulatory scrutiny. Well, Twitter says it's shut down nearly a million terrorist accounts in the past two years. It's partnered with other organizations and added more people to its teams that review reports. A recent report from VoxPoll, an academic research network that studies online violent extremism, found Twitter is no longer a conducive space for Islamic State supporters. Well, Apple just released iOS 11. That's the next major software update for the iPhone and iPad. iOS 11 is a pretty big update, particularly on the iPad, where it improves multitasking by allowing you to run even more apps side by side, and it adds a drag and drop functionality. On the iPhone, you'll find new controls, an entirely revamped app store, and more. Well, there's lots of dating apps out there, but there's a new app for people who want to set up their single friends. TechCrunch says Hinge Matchmaker allows people to see which of their friends are on Hinge and then make recommendations by suggesting potential matches. It's an offshoot of Hinge, the traditional dating app. The company says it's more of an experiment at this time to see how it goes. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your tech report. Household allergens for those with asthma can be a nightmare, but might those same allergens actually prevent asthma in children? With more, here's our lead signs. Dust, pet dander, and insects like cockroaches. For those with asthma, a perfect storm for an attack. But now, new research suggesting that exposure to these very allergens at an early age might just prevent the development of asthma in the first place. Researchers writing in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology finding these counterintuitive benefits in a group of infants at high risk for the condition, suggesting that common allergens in house dust, those produced by cockroaches, mice, and cats in particular, are associated with reduced risk of developing asthma later as a child. The authors further noting that even certain kinds of bacteria in house dust have been shown to be linked to a reduced asthma risk. But there are still some exposures that never help. Cigarette smoke, especially if it comes from the mother, maternal stress, and depression in moms, all risk factors for asthma in children. Still, if you're worried about your baby's exposure to household allergens leading to asthma, this research just might help you breathe easier yourself. With this Medical Minute, I'm Arlette Sign. That hot weather is sticking around. Yeah, unfortunately for those that want fall, you're not going to see it in this seven day forecast. 91 degrees for the day tomorrow, 92 by the time we head into Friday. Showers and storms isolated in nature until we get to Sunday and then a better chance of rain both Sunday and Monday. But temperatures staying steady right there near that 90 to 92 range. Uh, thanks, Ross. Thanks for watching ABC 31 News. Have a great night.
Hi, everybody. This is the voice of the Tigers, Jim Hawthorne, inviting you to watch Inside LSU Football, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors on this affiliate of the LSU Sports Television Network every week during the season. We'll have all the highlights, exclusive locker room access you won't see anywhere else, and features that will give you the inside story on your Fighting Tigers football team. Inside LSU Football. Join us Sundays at 10 on KLAX TV. Brought to you in part by Randy Wiggins, State Farm Agent. KLAX is the exclusive provider of ABC and MeTV programming here in Central Louisiana. We're the only station where you can watch new ABC programs like Dancing with the Stars, Designated Survivor, and Grey's Anatomy, just to name a few. That's what family does. We take care of each other. I'm proud of you. The warmth of your love. And if classic TV programs like Bonanza, Andy Griffin, Batman, or Carol Burnett is more your style, then MeTV's the station for you. As an advertiser, you want your products and services presented to these loyal viewers. Our sales team is equipped to prove we can generate new customers and new revenue for your business. I'll tell you what, it pays to advertise. And we have a number of low-risk advertising programs designed to prove we work. Call our media consultant team today for a no-risk assessment on how we can help you grow your business. We're ready to prove we work.